Hi, welcome to McJam Fan Flippers. Um, in my first episode, I want to go over um, how I got here and what I do. Um, I basically flip. Um, about a year ago, I decided to leave my job of almost 30 years um, with the knowledge of kind of what I wanted to do in the e-commerce world, um, but not exactly knowing what it was all about. So basically what I did was I studied a lot of eBay solds, a lot of Amazon stuff, um, and also a lot of videos on YouTube. I spent hours and hours of looking at videos on YouTube, just trying to get an ideal and a niche of what I wanted to do. Um, after that, basically, once I gained knowledge, I um, decided, hey, it's time to hit the road and start looking for stuff. Um, I did an eight state trip sourcing and found a lot of stuff along the way. Um, once I got back, there's plenty of Goodwills around here in thrift stores. I started hitting those. Um, I started gathering a lot of stock, um, overstocked myself with a lot of things that I knew would possibly sell, which might not sell. Um, and of course, you get burnt along the way too. There's stuff that you buy um, you think it's going to sell. Heck, I thought a lot of Columbia stuff was going to sell at first. Um, but with any trend, it's hot and then it dissipates and it's not hot anymore. And the next thing, pretty much next batter up. Um, so basically I had a little window of stuff I needed to sell, get sold or else it was going to sit in a death pile, which is basically stuff that sits forever for people that don't know, um, and unlisted. But what I wanted to do was, um, get out there and try to find the stuff that, you know, sells really good, um, for, a low price, high profit. Um, and even now, there's still a lot of stuff that I'm trying to learn. But I do have a lot of knowledge from other people to help me along the way. Um, and so what I did is I started just gathering all that, putting everything together. Um, you know, my first year of business, I lost $800. And, you know, I was happy with that. Of course, first year of business isn't always going to be profitable. If it is, it's, you know, like a a needle in a haystack. So um, after that, I just decided, hey, let's go ahead and have fun with this and um, just learn as much as you can. And basically, I sell on three or four different platforms, eBay, Mercari. I was doing Amazon FBA for a while. I stopped doing that. Um, and also Depop. I was doing Poshmark, but I'm not really big into that anymore. Um, so but basically, eBay and Mercari do a lot for me. Mercari's starting to pick up now and in game gaining a lot of steam. Uh, I sell a lot of shirts on there more than anything, and that's probably like my niche on there is shirts. So I leave like the basic T-shirts and everything on there to sell, and on eBay I sell pretty much anything I can get my hands on that sells for good money. Um, yard sales, estate sales ebay to relist um just all over i mean if you know what you're looking for it won't take long to grab those things and throw them on there and make a profit but um so that's what i've been doing the past year um so today i'm just going to go over some stuff that sold within the last week two three four weeks since it is my first episode and uh yeah let's go ahead and get into it um the first item up we have is a high noon western shirt it's an XL Pearl Snap shirt. Uh, I believe I picked this up for $3.99 at Goodwill and ended up flipping it for $19.99. Um, at the time, they had a bunch of high noon Western shirts there, so I had gone over those shirts uh, a few times on the racks and decided to go ahead and pick them up, and every time that I bought them, they've sold. So keep your eye out for some high noon uh, Western apparel. The next item I have up is a Legendary Collection Kung Fu lot. Um, I've had this lot forever, and the lot was just sitting around collecting dust, and I never opened them, so I figured, well, I'll go ahead and put them on eBay and see what I'll get for them. And they ended up selling for a pretty decent amount of money. As a matter of fact, the guy was super happy because he was looking for Twin Dragons on DVD for a long time, the Jackie Chan movie, um, and he ended up you know, seeing my auction and was very happy with it. Uh, the next item I have up is actually my wife's um, shirt that she's had for years. It's the um, Kurt Cobain Nevermind Insecticide shirt. It was an extra large. And I believe I put it up for $100. And there was a ton of watchers. But someone had sent me a um, 
a best offer I think it was 70 so I told him well, we'll go ahead and do it because she basically had it and there was really just the amount that she had spent in years ago involved in it she was happy with the price so went ahead and did it um, the next item up is a Ultima 3 Exodus PC game it was for the IBM um, it was open but I got it at an estate sale probably about three or four years ago for I think five it was either five or ten bucks and I looked it up and it was it, it's pretty rare it comes with the uh, cloth map most of the older um, ultimate games I think one two and three came with cloth maps so keep your eyes out for those if you find them they're actually worth a little bit of money so I ended up selling it for a hundred was happy with that um, a lot of the older IBM games um, some of them have they fetch for a certain amount of money so keep your eye out for those games um, like the Duke Nukem's the doom all those type of games the big box ones are the ones that really sell for a lot So do your research on those and uh, good luck but the next item I had up for sale was the Ghostbusters complete DVD set um, not the Ghostbusters movies but actually it was a um, series from 1975 and it was um, a couple disc set um, I believe I picked that up for uh, 10 bucks and I ended up selling it for 95 so I had a nice little flip on that. Uh, I remember watching it vaguely back in the day, and I completely forgot about it. So, But, yes, that one sold pretty good. Um, the next item I had for sale and sold was a Polo Ralph Lauren men's quilted jacket. Um, it was an orange vest. I believe I picked that up at Goodwill. They had a price tag of four ninety nine on it, so I pulled the trigger on that quick. Um, the only problem, I think it had one button underneath. The snap was broke, but the snaps and the zipper worked perfectly fine on the outside. And um, I threw it up on eBay, and, and I believe it sold. It, it was pretty fast turnaround, so ended up, you know, selling it for forty. I made a decent profit on it. Uh, the next item I have up for sale, and you definitely want to keep your eye out for any of these Godzilla movies. Especially the Godzilla vs. Biollante on DVD or Blu-ray, especially Blu-ray. Um, this one sold for 160 bucks. I couldn't believe at the time how much it was going for. But apparently it's been out of print for a while. And um, if you find it, grab it because you'll definitely make some money on it. And the last item I have up for sale and sold was a Lego Black Sarcophagus Mummy Coffin with the little skeleton inside. Um, I had the Desert Adventures number 5978 listed also in the header. I believe I picked this up for like 50 cents and a lot of other Lego pieces. And um, I just started piecing everything out and I threw that up and ended up selling for 11 bucks. Lego pieces sell really good if you know what to look for. Um, in the past, I've actually sold a Harry Potter, one of the females from Harry Potter, for like 35 bucks. So keep your eye out on those. Thank you for watching this video and coming along on this journey with me. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit like. Um, we'll see you next time and keep looking for them deals.